reading from Gospel of Mark. They came to Jericho, and as Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him on the way. In this passage from Mark, we have kind of a mini lesson on discipleship. Here we have Bartimaeus, who uh, the scripture says was uh, on by the roadside, which means he's kind of on the side along the way. He's not part of the group. He just happens to be along the side. And when Bartimaeus hears that it's Jesus, whether or not he completely understands that he is the Messiah, he understands that something special is happening. Enough for him to call out, not just once, but twice. This man who truly was an outcast along the side called out and disregarded the shouts of silence to grab Jesus's attention. And once he has Jesus's attention, he asks for mercy. He asks for mercy, understanding that he doesn't have much to offer. And when Jesus heals him, Bartimaeus understands that he is his teacher. And while Jesus commands Bartimaeus to go, your faith has made you well, what does Bartimaeus do? He follows Jesus. Jesus didn't necessarily command him to follow me. He said, go, your faith has made you well. And the passage for today ends with, and he followed him on the way. His life was so changed by Jesus that the only thing he could do was follow him. He left everything. He was poor. He was a beggar. So the only thing that he had was his cloak. And it said that he sprung up and threw his cloak. He left everything to follow Jesus. Now, I wish that we could hear what happened to Bartimaeus, but we don't know. The hope is, is that he continued to follow Jesus and to preach the good news, preach his own story, tell that story of healing with those he came in contact with. And that's all that we're asked to do as well. There are times in our lives when we are alongside, when we are not in the, in the stream of what's happening, but somehow God calls us into that fold. God has mercy on us too and pulls us in. And once we're in, all that we're asked to do is to share our story, share our story of love and to follow him along the way. Amen.